So, let me say it again, Cam. I may be a superhero, but I'm also just a man who fell in love with the wrong woman. And I am very excited for everyone to meet the real me. There's something wrong with Homelander. There's something broken. He's lost his fucking mind. Love, mommy, and daddy, and I'm But real power isn't this. It's the ability to bend the world to your will. I think I have something. Maybe we can use it to blow Homelander's fucking brains out. What's this? Makes you a soup for 24 hours. You're gonna need it. No one should have that kind of power. For once, I leveled the fucking playing field. I show people the real me. <laughs> I mean, they fucking love it. And one thing I liked about this uh, about this season, it's almost like with all the characters, it's almost like they have something that's challenging them. And that's always nice to see, you know, in, in terms of uh, uh, the, the the characters. And there's lots to talk about concerning that because there's some characters that are going through a lot and new characters being introduced. So that's going to be awesome to chat about. One person we forgot to talk about because honestly, he's probably the dumbest character in the entire <laughs> show. And that's the deep and his whole oh. plot line with his new girlfriend and his love affair with an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> like that was ridiculous. Like this man, this man stumbled head first into probably what he needed mo- more than anything, which was mm-hmm. a competent woman that could get him on track. Yes. She was cutthroat and ruthless and she was willing to go along with all Vought's evil stuff if it benefited them but considering where the deep started off in the beginning of season one oh, assaulting uh starlight in the seven meeting room i feel like the idea that he got into a committed relationship with a woman that's like yo bruh just say what i tell you to say and things will be fine that was like best case scenario for him and then he threw that away for an octopus <laughs> like i feel like next season it's just chaos for this man <sighs> oh, jesus oh, he, he, I, he, I don't like his character at, at all his relationship with animals in the ocean from saving the dolphin and killing it in season one <laughs> to not get a long jar from an octopus like what the hell it's just it's just too much to take and the boys keep pushing and pushing this character and doing all this absurd things and i'm interested on how much more absurdity are we going to get from the deep yeah i think before anyone has to talk about the deep you sort of have to have a deep sign a deep you know yeah geez english uh it's sort of like a huge side to sort of want to talk about it because he's such a compelling confusing sort of like cowardice character but you know some of it is justifiable because you know who can stand up to homelander but you know i think even without homelander he still is like a pawn and someone to just be embarrassed about because he's so he's so bad man but you know we love to see it